this is Vanessa Lenges. I played the overconfident, prom-obsessed Joanne Cheris in Stick It 15 years ago. What? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the Stick It cast, Where Are They Now? Can you tell Joanne that I'm gonna take over and do a real dismount? I heard she was painting her double pikes in warm up. I think she just choked. Dude, why are you always gonna bite my moment? Tastes good? Delicious. For this list, we'll be looking at the cast from the 2016 movie Stick It and seeing what they've been up to in recent years. Have you been following any of these careers? Let us know in the comments. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10. John Kapalos This Canadian from London, Ontario was quite famous in the 1980s as a John Hughes regular, appearing in the likes of Sixteen Candles and The Breakfast Club. In Stick It, he plays coach Chris DeFrank. I built that kid. I mean, you can glom on for the ride, but everyone knows who built it. Kapalos has long been a character actor who pops up in random movies and TV shows, and that hasn't changed in recent years. In the late 2010s, he was seen in two episodes of The Expanse, three episodes of Suits, and five episodes of The Umbrella Academy playing Jack Ruby. I need your head in the game for the fight tonight. I got a lot of heavy hitters putting up a lot of dough. He also appeared as Mr. Arzumanian in Guillermo del Toro's The Shape of Water. I have a movie and comedy. Nobody's coming to the theater, huh? I get throwing up free popcorn and soda. Alongside acting, Kapalos teaches improv at AIA Studios and manages a comedy record label called Carpuzzi Records. Number 9. Gia Carides The 2000s were a great decade for the Australian actress who played Cousin Nikki in My Big Fat Greek Wedding and Alice Graham in Stick It. Keep it up, pun. You're doing great. Stand up straight. Eyes and teeth, sugar. In 2016, she reprised her role as Cousin Nikki in My Big Fat Greek Wedding 2, which earned $90 million at the global box office. You don't need a caterer. Exactly, we all cook. Some of us better than others. <laughs> don't start. <laughs> Your baklava is dry, except it. Karides has also made a name for herself on TV in recent years. She portrayed Melissa for nine episodes of HBO's Big Little Lies. And in 2020, she starred in the now-canceled Fox drama Filthy Rich. Unfortunately, it hasn't all been smooth sailing. She and ex-husband Anthony LaPaglia split in 2015 after 17 years of marriage. Number 8. Tara Page Hailing from Phoenix, Arizona, Tara Page is a professional gymnast who won bronze on the balance beam at the 2001 Nationals. Just a few years later, she appeared as Trisha Skilkin in Stick It. Game. Paige continues to act and has appeared in various TV shows as well as episodes of the web series Star Trek Renegades. Klingon ship uncloaking. It's about time. The coordinates are different. But she has successfully transferred her gymnastic talents into stunt work, and Paige is mostly known in the industry as a stunt performer. She's also provided motion capture for various video games, including 2015's Rise of the Tomb Raider, in which she doubled as Lara Croft herself, and in 2021, she was credited as a stunt performer in an episode of WandaVision. Glad I don't have to follow this guy. Huh? What? <laughs> oh, but you're gonna be great. Number seven, John Patrick Amadori. Starring as Poot, John Patrick Amadori was actually quite busy in the mid-2000s, having also starred as 13-year-old Evan in the Ashton Kutcher drama The Butterfly Effect and Aaron Rose on Gossip Girl. I don't really date crazy people who speak in riddles. <laughs> <laughs> Just think about it, and when you figure it out, I'm yours. He's also struck recent gold with Netflix's Dear White People. Based on the 2014 film of the same name, Dear White People has aired three seasons and 30 episodes since 2017, and Amadori has appeared in all 30 as the main character's love interest, Gabe Mitchell. I know, I know that we hate each other's guts right now, but you got really cute guts. In 2020, Amadori reprised his role as Dash Snyder on The Good Doctor, appearing in back-to-back third-season episodes following his brief appearance in season two. You gave my wife six more good months. We considered renaming our cat after you. Number six, Nikki Suhu. 
After starring in the likes of Stick It and The Lovely Bones, Nikki Suhu went to television. In 2018, she starred as Veronica's jealous childhood friend Betty Finn on Paramount Network's Heathers, which is based on the cult 1989 film starring Winona Ryder and Christian Slater. Let's take a stand, right here, right now. Well, go ahead, stand up. Yeah. And let us recognize that we are all one. In recent years, Suhu has taken to voice acting. Between 2018 and 2019, she voiced Isla in five episodes of Star Wars Resistance, and between 2016 and 2020, she voiced Princess Samira in Nickelodeon's Shimmer and Shine. Oh no, there's Uzma, and she's reached my palace. Don't worry, princess, we'll find a way to stop her. In 2021, Suhu had an appearance on a Grey's Anatomy episode titled Sign of the Times, which tells the story of a COVID-denying patient. Will this bandage hold? I'm going back out. I'll get you some extra Coban to be safe, okay? Number five, Maddie Curley. Like Tara Page, Maddie Curley was a competitive gymnast before she starred opposite her as Mina Hoyt in Stick It. That was incredible. The height, the distance, bam, the stuck landing. If they don't give her a 10 on this, there is no justice. Come on, judges, give her a 10. 10 years later, she performed alongside Page yet again in the gymnastics movie Chalk It Up, which also starred Nikki Suhu as Callie. It's a point in everyone's life when they realize what they're really capable of. All right? It's a certified 10-year Stick It class reunion. Curly also produced and co-wrote the film alongside Brooke Buffington. Your team looks great, Apple. All right, Apple, you're up. I'm proud of you. Wow, Mom. You know what it means to hear you say that. And like Paige again, Curly has since taken to professional stunt performing. In 2019, she served as the stunt and body double for young Sarah Connor in Terminator Dark Fate. Her face was replaced by a CGI Linda Hamilton in post-production. Number four, Kellen Lutz. Making his film debut as Frank, Kellen Lutz went on to enjoy quite a successful career in film. Did you catch that? What? That I'm totally her favorite? Between 2008 and 2012, he starred as Emmett Cullen in the Twilight series. Following that, Lutz portrayed the title role in The Legend of Hercules before going on to The Expendables 3. Maybe he thinks you got potential, we're short on time, that about right? That's about it. Well, that's your problem. In 2019, he appeared in the romantic comedy What Men Want as a character whose name we definitely won't repeat here. Lutz has also found success on the small screen. Since 2020, he has starred as FBI agent Kenny Crosby in CBS's FBI Most Wanted, which was renewed for a third season in March of 2021. Seriously? You brought your laundry. Yeah, and I brought this celebratory shot. Number three, Vanessa Lenges. This Canadian actress has been working on screen since a very young age, voicing Emily and Arthur, starring in Are You Afraid of the Dark, and hosting Popular Mechanics for Kids. In 2006, at the age of 19, Lenji starred as Joanne Cheris in Stick It. Can we retire the old long sleeve competition, Leah? I have a constitutional right to bear arms. Most people today may recognize Lenji's as Sugar Mata from Glee, as she enjoyed a recurring role throughout seasons three, four, and six. I am a shining star. I am a shining star. Do you hear the difference? Yeah, I sound good. You know, why don't you take the day off? In recent years, Lenji's has provided the voice of Cordy Freemaker in the Lego Star Wars franchise, starring in both All Stars and the Freemaker adventures. In 2021, she will star as dog trainer Erica Munier in the Disney Plus continuation of Turner and Hooch. Thank you so much to all the fans of Stick It. You are the ones that made this an iconic movie. I love you. I appreciate you so much. And um, just remember, dogs are people too, Haley. Number two, Jeff Bridges. This movie icon needs no introduction. The recipient of seven Academy Award nominations, Bridges starred in Stick It as coach Burt Vickerman. Unfortunately, this was not one of his Oscar movies. Bridges has been quiet since 2018 when he starred in Bad Times at the El Royale and both produced and narrated the climate change documentary Living in the Future's Past. We see the symptoms of a reality we didn't expect. Have we reached the limitations of our human nature? Living here 
in the future's past. This absence is likely due to his recent battle with cancer, as he revealed in October 2020 that he was fighting lymphoma. Luckily, it seems like Bridges is getting back on the horse. He's currently producing and filming an FX thriller called The Old Man, which is about a retired intelligence officer being targeted for assassination. Call 911. Oh. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Missy Peregrim And of course, there's lead actress Missy Peregrim, who broke out onto the movie scene playing Haley Graham. Next time you should stick out your tongue, too. I would, but my coach likes the one that control my <laughs> <sighs> Peregrine made her film debut playing Haley after a brief career in modeling, commercials, and TV work. She hasn't done much film work since Stick It, with her most recent movie being 2014's Backcountry. I can't believe this is happening. What do we do? What do we do? We don't even have food in here. Instead, Peregrine can be found on the small screen. Between 2017 and 2018, she enjoyed a recurring role as Scarlett Van Helsing on Sci-Fi's Van Helsing. And since 2018, she's been starring as FBI agent Maggie Bell in CBS's FBI. The series was renewed for a fourth season in March of 2021. I, I don't want to be late. Go, go, I'll see you there. You're coming? Well, yeah, it's not every day that my partner gets a gold medal. Peregrim has also undergone big changes in her personal life, having given birth to her first child in March 2020. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.